In today's Number Corner lesson, we will be working on a new problem, solving Xavier's garden problem. Remember, area is the amount of space inside a shape. It's the inside of a chessboard or the inside of a volleyball court. We can find the area, or inside of any rectangle, by multiplying the length by the width. So, in the example, two units times one unit is two units. The area of the volleyball court is two units. The term dimension will help us when determining the area of something. Dimensions are the length and width of the sides of a shape. So, for instance, the first rank rectangle has the dimensions of two by three. So, we could mo multiply those together and get the area, or the inside of this shape, which is six. The dimensions of the next shape is three by four. Good. The area for that one would be 12. Let's do the next one. What are the dimensions of this rectangle? Yes, two by five. The area would be 10. Next three by what? Yeah, four, three by four. Looks just like the shape above. We could say these shapes are congruent because they have the same size and the same shape. What are the dimensions of the fifth one? Yes, four by five for an area of 20 since four times five is 20. What about six? Yep, the dimensions for number six are three by five, which is an area of what? Correct, 15. What are the dimensions of seven and eight? Pause the video, do them yourself, and then come back to check your answers to see if your dimensions were right. The dimensions for number seven were five by seven, or five by five, whoops, <laughs> five by five, which is an area of 25, and the dimensions for number eight were seven by 10, which is an area of 70. Good job. Today we will be working on page 12 in our Number Corner student books. So if you don't have your Number Corner book, pause the video and go get it now. This problem involves multiplication and some logical reasoning. Read the problem to yourself as I read it aloud. Xavier has 48 vegetable plants. Each plant needs one square foot of space to grow. If Xavier makes a rectangular garden for his plants, what are some possible dimensions for his garden so all 48 plants will have enough room to grow? Think about what this problem is asking you to figure out. We need to think about how big Xavier's garden should be. Each plant needs one square foot of space, so we will need 48 square feet. We need to figure out how to make a rectangle for all 48 plants. Is 48 square feet the area? I think so. We need to figure out the sides. Something times something is 48. What information in the problem will help you answer this question? I'm going to underline these parts. What information should I underline? Obviously what the problem is asking us to figure out, the possible dimension for his garden so all 48 plants will have enough room to grow. But what else? Each plant needs one square foot of space, and of course, the total of plants we need to find the dimensions for is 48 vegetable plants. Now it asks us to write an equation for the problem. Use letters to stand for the unknown quantities. So what would that look like? Think about it. Why is the equation for this problem different from the equation we wrote for the Megan's Marvels problems a few weeks ago? Yeah. We only know one number, 48. How can we write an equation with only one number? Could it be 48 times something? No. Before we said 48 was the area, that means something times something is 48. And we can think about the width and the length, or the length and the width, to determine the area. The other day we used letters for what we did not know. Can we use two letters here? Like A times B equals 48? Yeah. In this equation, there are two things that are unknown. You have to find the dimensions for Xavier's garden. So we can absolutely say A times B equals 48. You could also connect it to what you know about area and say the length times the width equals 48 the area. So an equation could be 
L for length times W for width equals 48. Now I want you to work on solving this problem. Begin thinking about how you could solve this. Think about what strategies we could use and what we might want to put on paper to show our thinking. Now that we have an equation to work on, I want to see your thinking. So go ahead and write down on this page a sentence at the bottom to explain how you got your answer. Once you have found the, the dimensions of Xavier's garden, I want you to think of more dimensions because I want you to know or consider which of the dimensions he should choose for his garden. What would influence his decision? Would he prefer a garden that is more rectangular or less rectangular and why? You can draw sketches that could help you understand the question and lead you to possible solutions. Remember, there are more than one possible solution to this problem. Similar to the way that we had the cats and the tea light question that we solved together a few days ago. Do you remember this one? Yeah, we had lots and lots of different ways we could pack those tea lights. Well, the same is true for Xavier's garden. There's lots of dimensions for his garden that will add up to 48 or multiply to equal 48. So what are all the ways that we can make up 48 with two dimensions for this garden? That's what we're figuring out. Different dimensions can have the same area, and we proved that with tea lights for cats. Now it's your turn to write a story problem that involves the same mathematical challenge. Think of an area that's, that you can find two dimensions for. So I have a bunch of examples there. I've got one with an area of 20, 42, 84, 15. You go ahead and figure out the dimensions for them and write, pick one of them to write a story problem on the next blank page in your math journal. Next time, we will be doing another Solving Problems activity for Xavier with his garden in a few days.